It's still waters that runs deep. May God help us tonight, friends, as we're coming to the communion table. If you remember that, no matter what outward we do, how many good things we do, you say, well, Brother Adam, I go to church, I try to live the best that I can. Good. There's nothing against that, brother. I have spoke with tongues, Brother Branham. I have shouted in the Spirit. That's good. But that's not what I'm talking about, brother. That still isn't it. That isn't what I'm speaking of. I'm talking of that still, small voice. That's something rich and royal. That I used to see the old mammies when they come down this aisle here years ago. The tears streaming from their cheeks when one sinner boy would raise up to come to the altar. The day I make a call and see a boy come and sit and pop their chewing gum. What's the matter? You lost to hear that. What have you heard? What hearest thou? We're at the end time. You hear on the television and on the radio, in your magazines, in your papers, that there's going to be a whirl across this country someday. What are you listening for? To hear that? All alarm your radio on all day long with all that nonsense carrying on. You hear when the bullets are going to drop or the bombs? I'm not listening to that stuff. I'm listening to your voice. They come up higher. It was well done, my good and faithful servant. What hear a sound? You know, I think that we're so interested in listening so close to all the things of the world and things like that. We can't hear that little still small voice. We hear our pastor say, just join the church, it'll be all right. We hear some of them say, just speak with tongues, it's all over. Some of them say, just shout, it's all over. You can't hear that little still small voice that places something rich and deep in the life. Makes you what you should be. A wheat doesn't bear wheat because it's on a vine or on a stalk. A weed also is on a stalk. But it takes the life in that vine to bring forth wheat. The waters that fall under the water, both of them, they'll both rejoice in it. They'll both grow in it. Men and women can grow up shouting and praising God, speaking in tongues and belonging to the church, dancing in the spirit and paying times. Still not be in their heart that still small voice of God's rich, deep love. Though I give my body to be burned as a sacrifice and have not love, I'm nothing. Though I give all my goods to feed the poor, I'm still nothing. I have faith to move mountains. I'm still nothing. I, I, I do speak with tongues as men and angels. I'm still nothing. See, it's that still, small voice that speaks down in your heart that changes every attitude, makes a nature different, and you become a new creature in Christ. What hearest thou? Depends on what you're listening for, friend. If you're listening to your... Not no remarks, no reflection. But if you're listening here uh, uh, of a great revival somewhere where 10,000 people are gathered, go ahead. You're listening to the wrong thing. I'll go overseas. They say they have great crowds. That don't make a bit of difference. The racetracks have that. Everything else has that. Rock and rollers have that. I'm going over to. I'm going over for something else. If you go for anything else, but if you're listening for anything else, but that still small voice, get back in the cave. Go back under the juniper tree until we can prepare. Hold yourself quiet and wait. Let the thunders go by. Let the earthquake shake. Let the rushing winds go in the fire. Let the fire sweep by. But let me hear that still, small voice. It says, come unto me, all you labor and are heavy laden. Come out from the juniper tree. Come out of your cave. I want to veil my face, face in his blood. Walk forth and say, yes, Lord. I now believe. Let us pray.